Okay, I can sum this up really quick. The Japs bomb the harbor. You are right. They're going to attack Midway next. My intelligence thinking people say that. My god. Hey, Captain. When am I going to go up there and fight them Japs? I'm one of them nonsensical pilots who threw an excessive amount of gum. My god, you reckless. My intelligence people say we need recklessness right now. My god. That's gonna be a real authentic movie. Just like my accent. We won the day in midway. Yeah, you right. Cause of intelligence. Yeah, it's essentially that. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Midway. The newest film by Roland Emmerich. I was very excited for this movie. There's only kind of one movie about Midway. It was made back in the 70s and it hasn't aged the best even though some of the footage is actually from the Pacific Theater. They just took some and spliced it in from Ford and other Hollywood directors who are out there shooting their films or propaganda pieces. I remember being a kid at a doctor's office and National Geographic had released a issue about the Battle of Midway and I was so into it while reading in the waiting room that I actually took it home with me and then I lost it. Either way, the Battle of Midway has always been very interesting to me because of how vital and how much of a big turnaround it was for the US forces against the Japanese forces during the Second World War. And this movie tries to say how important it is. More so it feels like we're following these people because the script is telling us to. Instead of trying to focus on a singular aspect of it. Admittedly, Roland tries to capture a lot of what happened, not just the Battle of Midway itself, but things leading up to it. He's trying to encapsulate almost a year of all the naval conflicts and aerial battles that happened in the Pacific in one two hour long movie. And one, he doesn't have the money that he usually has with a full universal or whichever budget. He has an elevation pictures budget, so you can tell through some of the CG that it just... He just has too many characters, and so many of these characters are straight up stereotypes. They're just not even characters. I would say they are Mr. One, Mr. Two, Mr. Three, Mr. Four. I know they're supposed to be embodying big pillars of American military history. I just feel like this is just another Roland Emmerich movie with his stereotype cliche of characters. It's like watching Independence Day, watching 2012. Sometimes the editing is just so sporadic. It's so boom, 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 boom. It more so feels like they're trying to check off check marks rather than actually tell a story. By the way, if you noticed all that mm, zooming in, all that post zoom crap, there's so much of it in this movie through the conversation pieces. Why are you consistently zooming in in post? It looks so bad. Again, it feels like this movie is a checklist rather than a film. Yep, we got that, 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 we got that. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's just been checked off. Some of the battle scenes are cool. I'll admit there are certain dive bomb scenes that are pretty good, but there's parts that they could have focused on more and they could have actually done it in a meaningful storytelling way rather than just checking it off. For instance, Luke Evans is one of the more major characters in this movie. He's supposed to be this no care attitude pilot, but we also see that he loves his family, but it's more so there's a scene with him and his daughter he keeps just looking back It's like, yep, I established that I love my daughter. Every time I look back, I'm really trying hard to look back at you and tell you that I do. And instead of that, we could have focused maybe more so on why he does the things he does. We could have focused on, like, God forbid, a piece of dialogue explaining how a dive bomber pilot works better than a torpedo rather than just a joke that torpedoes don't work. Just talk about the battle and we can start establishing with these characters. It's hard to make a World War II movie now that Christopher Nolan has just been like, yo, realism, what up, yeah. Now everything that's come after it, especially when it's in comparison to a high CGI film, it just doesn't have that weight. Every time they're on a clearly obvious soundstage that's supposed to be a ship burning, you're just like, this looks so damn corny. In the end, I'm gonna give Midway a two out of seven. It's unfortunate too, because I really wanted to see a well done movie about this battle because it is a very interesting battle. Remember there was a submarine at one point? They don't talk about it again. It just disappears. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.